Okay, we are going to simplify expressions again, but this time it's going to involve the distributive property. So we know that what we want to do for steps, first step is to always keep change, change. Okay, we want to change subtraction to addition. Step two, we are going to use and distribute if needed. And then simplify by combining like terms. The best way to do this is just to go ahead and jump in with some examples. All right, so we've got example one. We have six times x plus 2x. All right, so we talked about the distributive property when we talked about the properties of mathematics. We always take that term that's outside the parentheses and we multiply it by everything inside the parentheses. Now, I like to draw my arrows so I don't forget that I have to um, distribute that 6 to every other term inside that factor. So 6 that would be times x plus 6 times 2x. 6 times x would be 6x plus 6 times 2x would be 12x. Since they both share the same variable to the same power, we combine these two and our answer would be 18x. Okay, example two. We have 4 times x minus y. Now here we're going to use step 1, which is keep, change, change. We want to eliminate that subtraction and make it into an addition problem. Keep x, change subtraction to addition, and change positive y to a negative y. Now I can go ahead and distribute that 4. 4 times x plus 4 times negative y. Remember, in front of those variables, it's automatically a 1. So 4 times 1x is 4x, and 4 times negative 1y is negative 4y. And we cannot simplify any further than that because we have two different variables. All right, example 3. We have negative 5 times 3n plus 6. All right, I want to draw my arrows because I know I have to multiply by the 3 and I have to multiply by the 6. So this would break down as negative 5 times 3n plus negative 5 times 6. This would become negative 15n plus negative 30. Fourth example, we have a negative, and then we have 6x minus 5x. Now, when you see a negative sign sitting outside of that parentheses, it is automatically attached to the number 1. So I want you to put that number 1 in front of the parentheses. We have to distribute that negative 1 to both the 6x and the 5x, we have a minus here, so we want to do keep change, change. So negative 1 times 6x plus negative 1 times negative 5x. Negative 1 times negative, uh, negative 1 times 6x is negative 6x. Negative 1 times negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive. Positive. 5x. When I combine these two terms, negative 6 plus 5 would give me negative 1x. All 
Okay, a couple more examples. We have negative 2 times 3 plus 7w minus 5w. Okay, so this negative 2 is on the outside of my parentheses, so I'm not going to do keep change change there because I have nothing to follow it through to change. I'm just going to distribute that. But then I do have a minus 5w, so I'm going to make that to plus a negative 5w. Going to go ahead and distribute my negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14w. And then bring down your plus negative 5w. Now look to see if you can combine any terms that are alike. And I see a w here and a w here, and they both are raised to the first power. So I can combine negative 14w and negative 5w. Ne uh, negative 6 doesn't have an x, uh, a variable, so it stays there alone. I combine negative 14 and negative 5, and I would get negative 19w. All right, last one. I have x times y plus z. I don't have any subtraction here, so there's nothing to do keep change change. So I'm just going to go ahead and distribute. If I distribute, I would get x times y plus x times z. x times y is xy x times z is xz. Even though they both have an x, they both have different variables. So I have a y in one of the terms and I have an x in the other term. So that is as simplified as it can go.